Hey guys, Andrew here, and today I am going over all every single gun in Unturned 3.0. So there is a lot of them, including the Eagle Fire, Timberwolf, Oak Bear, Cobra, Showfield, Ace, Hawkhound, Blunt Force, Honey Badger, Zupanov, Nyarkag, Snaperska, Dragon Fang, Grizzly, and the Shadow Stalker. So we'll just go straight down the list and spawn them in. Alright, so here is the Eagle Fire or the AR-32, depending on how you look at it. Basically, it has a barrel attachment, tactical attachment, and you can knock it on a grip. It comes with a military magazine, and it has the uh, iron sights, Eagle Fire iron sights. The magazine holds 30 rounds, or you can put a drum that holds 100. And you have the fire mode safety, semi, or auto. And it is not silenced. Alright, next on our list, we have the Timberwolf. Now, this gun is a, uh, a sniper without a scope. doesn't come up with a scope. It has one magazine and one magazine only. It can hold six rounds. It, uh, if I'm correct, you cannot put on a tactical attachment, or a, a, a barrel attachment. You can put on a tactical attachment and a grip and a sight. Um... But there is only one magazine for this. It is a sniper, very powerful. It could probably blow up a car. So next up we have the Oak Bear. Now this pistol has a magazine that can hold seven shots, and you can only put on a tactical, can't put on a grip, obviously, or scope. But you could do that in Unturn 2.0. But uh, your firing rates are safety and semi. And yeah, so. That's about it. Next up, we have the Zupana. Now, this is an assault rifle that has a magazine. Uh, it uses a Ranger magazine. There's also a barrel, I believe. I, I may be wrong on that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if there is. This can hold 35 rounds. It is either semi, auto, or safety. So, it is an automatic, just like the Eagle Fire. So, here is the safety or the uh, semi pretty loud here's auto definitely very loud next up we have a marksman rifle we are going to be doing the show field which has an id of 101 and this is a marksman rifle has a clip that can hold um, five rounds you can have a tactical a grip or a sight you can put on it, no barrel attachment, so there's only one round in this, but. So as you can see, there's tons of recoil, but, you know, that's what you get from a marksman rifle. So, moving on, we have the Hawkhound. This gun is, again, a marksman rifle, has a magazine that holds eight rounds, has the firing rate safety in semi, obviously. You can put on a sight, a grip, and a tactical no barrel attachment. Um, again, I only get one round for some reason, but let's check out the recoil on this. Alright, so this has tons of recoil. As you can see, I was pointed down there, now I'm pointing up there. Next, we have the Honey Badger, which was the secret weapon when Nelson updated it. And this comes with the iron sights, uh, Honey Badger iron sights, uh, it is automatically suppressed. Has You can put on tactical and a grip. It has the, again, military magazine like the, uh, the Eagle Fire or the AR-32. You can also put a barrel on there, which can hold 100 rounds. This has a fire rate of, it has safety, semi, and auto. So let's check out the uh, semi. Very quiet. Now if we put on auto... It is absolutely crazy. Moving on, we have the Nyorkev. This is an LMG. Only has a fire rate of auto because, you know, it's an LMG. It's crazy loud. And it, uh, it has uh, 100 shots automatically in the Nyorkev box. You can put a sight, a grip, a tactical, and a barrel attachment on it. And... Yes, I really want to go test this out on some zombies. 
Come here, you! Yes! Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! This probably caused every single zombie in the entire place, but... Oh, dang it, I'm all out. Fist fight! Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the Nyorkev here. Crazy. It uses the, uh, the Nyorkev box, which you, uh, you can spawn that into. You can find that in military locations. But on to the next one. We have the Dragon Fang with an ID of 132. This again only has the fire rate of auto. It uses the Dragon Fang box. You can put a sight on it. It comes with iron sights. You can put a grip, a tactical, and a barrel attachment. Some of these are actually based off of a Russian uh, Russian guns. So yeah, it holds 100 rounds. And again, it's just like the Nyorkev. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Very loud. Fast firing. On to the next gun. We have the Sniperska, which has an ID of 129. This is a, another sniper. Uh, has seven round magazine. You can put a sight on it, a grip, a tactical, and again, no barrel attachment. It has iron sights, but for a sniper, that's what you get. Uh, it has the fire rates of semi and safety, obviously, because it is a sniper. Does lots of damage long range. And yeah, recoil doesn't look too bad, but that is the Sniperska. Not a bad gun. I'm kind of liking it. Next up, we have the Grizzly, which has an ID of 297. This is the last sniper rifle. It has a magazine that can hold five rounds. You can put a sight, a grip, and a tactical. That is it. The iron sights are okay, but... That's that. Has the fire rates of semi and safety, and the recoil is significant. It's really loud, does a lot of damage. Let's see, I've hit this tree a few times. Timber! As you can see, it's powerful enough to blow down a tree after a few hits from a shotgun. But that is the Grizzly. Moving on, we have the one and only shotgun in the game. The Blunt Force with an ID of 112. Now this is chambered in shells, has a fire rate of safety and semi, obviously. It is a pump shotgun, can hold eight, like, shells consecutively. You could put a sight, a grip, surprisingly, and a tactical on this, no barrel attachment. And it's, yes, chambered in shells. So, it's not the most accurate weapon in the world, as you can see. Here, let's, uh, as you can see, let's try, can we hit that tree? Yeah, you see, we couldn't hit that tree from here. <laughs> How close do we have to get to this thing? Hit it! Alright, so that is the blunt force for a shotgun chambered in shells. Next up, we have the Cobra, which is a pistol, has an ID of 99 and holds surprisingly 20 shots you can only put a tactical on it and it takes a copper magazine surprisingly what i found funny with this pistol is it has safety semi and automatic i somehow spawned with 20 rounds magically that's that's pretty amazing but let's test out the recoil on this thing it's kind of all over the place but put on auto it's a crazy crazy beast it's a crazy piece. It's kind of cool because it has like the green and black kind of contrast. It looks pretty like army like. Moving on, we have our last but definitely not least Ace uh, Pistol. This is the last one. Has an ID of 107 and it looks a lot like the Winchester from Unturned 2.0. I don't know if I got that right. Maybe that's just the clip. I don't know. But this one has like red on it. I, I don't really remember what the one in Unturned 2.0, if it even had that at all. But this 
has a just a clip, an uh, ace clip that holds uh, six shots. Can't put on sight, no tactical barrel. Can't put anything on it. It's basically going to walk around like this. Has the fire modes of safety and semi, obviously. And let's check out the recoil. It's not that bad. Pretty powerful if I uh, if I remember. Let's go try to shoot down this tree. All right. All right, so we weren't able to shoot it down with this, but there you go. That is the ace, and that, again, is every single weapon in unturned 3.0, as you can see from my amazing array of weapons on the ground. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave it a like. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish. Peace out.